Did you see that? That's a broom. And it's the cowbell kid letting you know what that broom is used for. This broom is used for sweeping the Red Sox at Fenway. Because as I stated before, the Rays will win the ALCS in five games. Get used to seeing it, because it will happen. We beat your ace tonight. <clears throat> Let me see if I can recall some of the things that were said before the game. Oh, that's right. Go ahead and look on to game four. You can't beat Lester, so you might as well just look ahead and go to game four and try and win that one and tie the series back up at 2-2. Hello? Can't beat Lester. Hmm. Slight problem with that. Seems like the Rays decided to put up nine runs. Five of them against Lester. How many, how many, how many runs did the Sox get tonight? Oh, that's right. They got one at the end of the night. Listen to TBS. You guys are silly. Harold Reynolds. Go ahead and look forward to game four because, you know, you really don't have to worry about tonight. You're not going to win it. And if you don't, you do. You know, it's a bonus. Well, guess what, Harold? We got a bonus. Fenway, the most beloved ballpark in Major League Baseball. Where do these guys, these commentators, get this stuff? How about, like, it's a classic, traditional ballpark with a 60-foot wall in the middle of left field. Wow. And then a 3-foot wall in right field. Very classic. Definitely. I was watching in, like, the sixth inning when the rats started leaving. They were all jumping off the ship. It was pretty quiet in Fenway tonight. <clears throat> you know what I really like about red? It runs. As we, or maybe it gives up runs. Put it in the washer, it turns to pink, it runs. Okay, anyway, whatever. Gives up runs is better. And B, B stands for bandwagon. Your ace, John Lester, can't be beat at home. So don't even think, Rays, you can't win game, four, game three. Look ahead to game four. Whatever. You forgot we had our boy Matt Garza on the hill this evening. Oh, here's another good outtake from the game by the commentators for TBS. Oh, Garza is having a lapse into brilliance. Well, Mr. Sox Bias commentator, perhaps you didn't see any of the games that Matt pitched, Matt pitched this season. 9-1 to one complete game, 9-inning complete game, you got one run against the Marlins. 9-inning complete game shutout against Texas. Complete game shutout against Toronto. A lapse into brilliance. Hello, this kid's got stuff. This stuff is that good. I think old Troy Percival said it perfectly on his shirt. Avery, Smoltz, and Maddox equals Casimir, Shields, and Garza. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. You guys got to be kidding me. John Lester can't be beat. What a joke that is. I happen to be living to listening to one of our beloved broadcasters for do the post game and I love you Dwayne Stats. However, when you said that nobody, nobody, not one person predicted that this would be a high scoring game, apparently you didn't hear what I had to say before the game. Uh, I can be quoted as saying the Rays will score eight runs tonight and win this game. Okay, maybe I was off, but if this is the price is right, I would have won because I was the closest without going over. They scored nine runs. Still love you, Dwayne, but I said eight runs. Gotta be kidding me. What do you think now, Boston? Now that you're down two to one. I think we're gonna sweep you in Boston. What a surprising score we have going on here. The Rays are beating the Red Sox. Lester's on the hill. It's not surprising to us Rays fans. Not surprising at all. B stands for bandwagon. Hey, Terry Francona. When I come to Boston for the third game of this, or the fourth game, fifth game of this series, will you sign my broom after the game? Since we're going to sweep you in Boston, I've been getting a lot of 
A lot of comments back from all the Boston fans objecting to my commentary about this ALCS. Do you guys know anything other than like how to use F-bombs or other foul language? Any of you have any intelligent commentary on the series, on how things are going? Maybe Big Poppy. Oh, that's a guy that's interesting. I think I'm going to change this. I realized tonight why they call him Big Poppy. Because it's short for Big Pop Out. Because that's what he does in key situations. He pops out. Jacoby Ellsbury. Ah, that guy's got nothing. Kevin Euclid. Dude, you know Kevin Euclid? Dude, shave the beard. It makes you look like a Muslim. Maybe you are a Muslim, Euclid. I'm sorry, if you are and you want to look like a Muslim, that's your business. But for all of our, us God-fearing Christians in America, apparently being a Muslim isn't like the acceptable thing to do. So if you want to be hated by everybody in America, keep wearing the beard, Kevin. I think you're actually already hated by everybody in America. Aren't you, Kev? Hey, what happened with that shiner underneath your eye? Did it go away? <laughs> Perhaps you got another one tonight. Pow! We punched them big bullies in the mouth tonight, didn't we? We have home field advantage. However, I don't think we're going to need it. I think the wind was let out of your sails this evening. I think the Rays win the American League championship series in five games over the media-loved, beloved, touted, hyped Cinderella darlings of baseball, the Boston Pink Sox. And you know, you were talking about the Dodgers playing the Red Sox in the World Series, how great that would be. Looks to me like Philly's got something else to say about that. I think it's going to be Philly and the Rays in the World Series. I know y'all don't like that idea, ESPN, but you better get used to it because there isn't a team in Major League Baseball that wants to play the Rays right now. Nobody wants to play the Rays. Nobody. I don't care if they're the Red Sox, the Yankees, the Phillies, the Dodgers, nobody wants to play the Rays. Yo, Major League Baseball, come get some. You ESPN biased, propaganda promoting TBS, the Boston Sox Network, or whatever you want to call yourselves. Dude, get a clue. It's about time you open your eyes and realize that the Rays go to the World Series versus either Philly or L.A. Looking like Philly. Looks like the majority of what you guys have been hyping might not come to pass. However, on the other hand, what I've been hyping, the Tampa Bay Rays, it's coming true. And so it is said, and so it shall be. Tampa Bay Rays, baby. Anything less than a World Series victory? Still okay, considering the season that we've had. It's been a tremendous season, but I don't think our team's done yet. I don't think our team or Tampa Bay is really, really going to be happy with anything less than a World Series victory. Rays in five against the Red Sox. Rays in five, whether it's Dodgers or Phillies. We'll beat the Dodgers in five. If we have to play Philly, it'll be the Rays over Philly in six. And you can take that to the bank. Go bet it in Vegas, baby. Rays in five over L.A. Rays in five. Or Rays in six over Philly. Rays in five over the Red Sox. Tampa Bay.